transform here so let it be the same way because it is more readable so and then the next one is followed by the query so i always rename the query uh, to indicate what we are trying to do uh, here we are generating a date so uh, i will say date gen it is just only a readability that next time when you have 10 different queries you know what what each query transform is doing so we uh, do certainly the same thing before we uh, go and build it let us look at the target structure because that is the structure we are going to build right so here if we go and time them so there is no uh, data here but there is a date id native time month number business quarter and year number so this business quarter is the important thing which i was telling that a business can start anytime if you call q1 q1 is in our calendar is from january to march but depending on our business the q1 can be march to uh, june the quarter is like three months so it can be anything dependent on the business and so we will use the same thing uh, to understand the business requirement and also uh, put it in the same way here. So here, the date generation, how it can generate your date. Data services can do this if you say I want a calendar starting from 2000 uh, to year 2000 January 1st to uh, something like 2050 or the maximum you can go is 9999. The, the end of the uh, calendar <laughs> I mean if we are alive till then but most probably for our uh, for our purpose we will believe in the 2012 story and we will build our timetable mostly till 2012 uh, which ends with the Mayan calendar let us be also be the same not be too optimistic that we will live till 9999 okay so I'm going to do that now so how to do it? It is better we follow exactly what is being given in the tutorial and then we should be able to do it easily. A target table into which the dimension data load. So we are going to pull the target table also and then we will start building uh, one by one. So where is my target table? In the ADWDS. So in here I haven't imported the table. So here I right click and say import by name. Uh, let me... I mean, I can always double click, which makes my life easier, uh, so that I have the set of all tables here which I can look. But when you double click, whatever is accessible by this user, everything comes into picture. So, which will consume a lot of resources. So, if we want to exactly go by what is the time, it is just the time dim, edw dot time dim. So, for now, because I double clicked, I go there and pull out my time dim. Uh, it should be in EDW, so I don't see it here. <laughs> you know, uh, EDW is a new schema which we created, and uh, I'm using clouds as my uh, user that I logged in. So I, I don't think it is able to get there. Uh, let me see in the other way is import by name, and it is time underscore day. Oh, it worked. So he has access or it is only like we are not able to see the uh, table uh, in the list or it could be there which my eye cheated me. So we go here and pull out the time dimension as our target. Why we need to pull out this? Always we will make sure that whatever we are doing will be in the required format that is required by, uh, uh, by the target table. So we have to maintain the same structure, right? Our target table in data warehouse is fixed. You can't actually do anything about it. So we did the same way. And now you go to the schema uh, output and, and here you do all this magic. The date generation can be done here. So we go here. And here is the secret. So whatever the start date you want to select, uh, you can select. But as I told you, I am an optimist, but not too uh, <laughs> too optimistic. So I would put at least maybe the day we got independence. That's the best thing to start our life with. 
So, so 1997-0101 and I trust, I trust, I have faith that we are going, uh, we are going to end our lives in 2012. Uh, if not in between 2012, maybe at the end of 2012. So let me put it as 1231. So the increment, how you want it to maintain is up to you. It can be daily, it can be weekly, it can be monthly. Why they have put monthly and weekly? Some of them want some. Uh, so sometimes you may have to build a summary table. Why you need to build a summary table? There comes performance when you have 50 or 60 years of data in your data warehouse. So currently we don't have that much of data. So we will put it as increment as daily. Rank. Join rank. It is not very useful at this certain point. But join rank can be used if someone is a powerful database user, you know what join rank is. Join rank is nothing else than the priority we are setting. If you say in the story, my hero has a priority. When you ask him to select what you want it to move, which data you want it to move into data warehouse or which data first you want it to get loaded into your truck to move into data warehouse, surely we will say, get the smallest box from my source safe where I have at least two kilos of gold. The data is small. When the data is small, you better put it as a join rank one so that that data will be pulled into data services memory first and rest of them will be joined to that to increase the performance. In the current scenario, it is not very much required, but there is when two tables that you are joining, a join rank can play a good value there. So, if you are if you are asked to uh, say, uh, say tell, uh, do you want to carry the gold first or some other uh, some other uh, kitchen uh, kitchen uh, articles or items first, cutlery items? Then it depends on the truck size. First, you'll move the gold and and keep it there, and the rest of the associated things will come little later. It's the same. So here we have uh, we are we have picked up a date saying 1947 to 2012. And we will use the same thing here. So here comes the important thing. How to generate a date ID. Let us see what, are, what the tutorial says for us to generate a date ID. Surely you will have to apply some functions here. So to define an output in the query, uh, you, you can uh, anytime go and read all this. Uh, you can read through. But the important thing is, see here. Date ID, he already mentioned in the spec that he is going to use the Julian date. So there is a function called Julian. If you ask me a little bit of history about Julian date, don't worry about much about what is the Julian date. It is generally, uh, as I told you, a century back, some, somewhere in 1940s or, or, or 30s, there, there happened the calendar has, uh, there was a Greek calendar and an English calendar. There is one week difference in between them. So if you say 1947 January 1st in the uh, English calendar could have been equal to 1946 December 15th in the Greek calendar. So there occur, occur, occurred a 10 or 15 day gap. I, I remember it as a week gap. So that is about the Julian day. But if we wanted to look more on that, we can always wiki and then uh, look for it. But let me not deviate from the topic. Let us fill, uh, let us build the time dimension table. So here he is asking me to use this function. Uh, so I am going to do the same. Here I put Julian and uh, the input date is this. That's it. And the native date. So native date is asking me to convert the two care and uh, extract only year from it. I don't need to, uh, okay, it's not the native date, it's actually year number. So I I will go by whatever is being uh, given here. We'll see uh, uh, what we come up with finally. So native date is not what is being recommended at. So we'll hold on there. So year number, how to extract an year number is use the function to care and get the same thing. Guys, and uh, don't worry about uh, the syntaxing. If you see, 
any layman can follow this whatever here uh, is being explained but just that you know whatever is in square brackets indicates that it uh, the the parameter type input or output but what it says in square brackets is optional always you don't need to uh, uh, give that it is only informative information wise it is you can put in there but the rest of the things are are important that we uh, also maintain the uh, data type he it says like input date or number but the formatting string as varchar and the total output will be varchar and so the return type he says as varchar so here i'm going to say the syntax wise it is like this and i'm i'm asking just to return the year so it returns the year perfect if there is any problem in general here you see a cross symbol for example when i do a business quarter i will show you uh, if it is not a valid thing it will show you there so you can also extract a quarter and month in the same way so i'm going to do that really quick so if you if you put up the right spelling here it picks up automatically and uh, you can click on this drag and drop here and uh, there is no format that is required because it is going to return an integer saying this is a first quarter a second quarter a third quarter so uh, okay i told that i am going to show you that cross symbol i will show it now shouldn't be a problem so to care and we are going to use the same thing put a comma and it is a month number i want so i want it to give the formatting string i will give it as mm so if you look at it now before i validate it there is a cross symbol here so if something is wrong if syntactically something is wrong you this cross symbol will not go away so that's how it is and finally the native date let's see what is uh, been advised for the native date or we can we can put our own date and time so see the native date is a directly without being transformed whatever we have in the source that is being pulled as a native date for so i'm going to do the same thing always if there is a requirement if they say we don't want this format we can always convert the uh, change the format by the default format is yyy uh, yyyy.dd.mm sorry it is yyyy.mm.dd followed by the type but in general time dimension table we don't populate time guys if we populate time the problem is for each year you will have uh, how many records if any one of us are a good mathematician here you should be able to say how many seconds are in an year and followed by how many minutes in an year any quick any quick comeback or from you you guys anyone knows about how many um, uh, how many seconds in an year so if you want to calculate that we will have to use our uh, calculator because none of our minds are working now. These days we are not using our brains. So the first thing is into 24 because we have 24 hours. So each hour has 60. So we will put as 60 minutes. These are the number of minutes that we have in an year. And if you calculate seconds, 